Hi there, welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Teresa LaBarbera. Thanks so much for joining us today. Coming up, pit bulls are the most controversial breed in the media, as well as the most commonly abused and neglected dog. Today, we'll meet volunteers from Bully Breed Rescue and hear about their efforts to find loving homes for pit bulls. And Hurricane Sandy delayed trick-or-treating for a lot of towns, so today, to celebrate, we have the Whitney Players Theater Company to celebrate Halloween in their own crazy little way. And the Connecticut Food Bank wants to make sure everyone has a delicious holiday uh, treat here to tell us about Thanksgiving for all is Nancy Carrington, the president and CEO of the Connecticut Food Bank, Carly Yearsley, a child nutrition coordinator, and Carol Heller from the Bank of America. Thank you all for being here. Nancy, you were just on recently, but uh, still a big need for food this time of year, right? There is, absolutely. Uh, we're certainly looking to collect food for Thanksgiving in particular, uh, a turkey that can uh, be given out to a family as well as the canned goods to go along with it. All right, we know that Bank of America is involved in this. And just tell us today what we're making. Today we're making sweet potato pie. Ooh, lovely, a perfect uh, dish for the holidays, right? Okay, ladies, look right into camera two. Tell everyone what they need to do so we can start the show. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. When people think about auto insurance, everybody has their own definition of value. If you're looking for the best value, call Amica. A great price is just the beginning. We'll also dig deeper and find every discount that you're eligible for, even some you might not know about. So call Amica now at 877-52-AMICA. A great price plus the coverage and service you deserve. That's the value of Amica Auto Insurance. How do you decide which auto insurance is right for you? It depends on your formula for value. That's why you should call Amica, because there are so many reasons to switch. We're a mutual company owned by our customers, so when you call, you talk directly to a company that always puts its customers first. So call 877-52-AMICA now and discover the full value of Amica Auto Insurance. In the wake of Hurricane Sandy, the Connecticut Food Bank wants to make sure Thanksgiving is special for thousands of our neighbors who may be in danger of going without a holiday meal this year. Here to tell us about Thanksgiving for All are Nancy Carrington, the President and CEO, and Carly Yearsley, the Child Nutrition Coordinator, and Carol Heller, who is in charge of Community Relations for Bank of America. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. Nice to be here. Great All right, so we talked about the need to donate this time of year, but it's really year-round, right, Nancy? Absolutely. We often will say, huh? Hunger knows no season. There is need year round. And uh, but at Thanksgiving time it's when we put an extra special push on. Sure. Folks were real generous after Sandy, mm -hmm. but this time we're now looking for turkeys. We have to keep it going, right? That's right. That's and right. how is Bank of America involved, Carol? Oh, uh, you know, this is we're so excited about the event this weekend, Fill the Bowl, coming up on this Saturday. And we have actually associates in our banking centers that are collecting food boxes and, and bring them in. And we have weigh in competitions for food boxes. We're, co we're contributing and we're partnering with food banks and, and pantries and shelters across the state over the next, almost every day over the next few weeks. So oh, we're great. really excited to be here and, and yeah. part of this effort with the Connecticut Food Bank. Very nice. Now, what are we making here today? Today we're making sweet potato pie. I love that. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's a huge sweet potato, <laughs> by the way. Is it <laughs> yam, sweet potato, are they the same? They're actually different, okay. but a lot of times when you see them in the supermarket, they're packaged as the same product. But um, today we have sweet potatoes. First things first is uh, you're going to preheat your oven to 350. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we boil the sweet potato. If the sweet potato is too large for your pot, you can always cut it up into pieces. All right, and that's what you're going to do here? And then we're throwing the sweet potato in the water. And you're going to boil it for about 40 to 50 minutes until it's fork tender. We remove it and then what you're left with is you're going to either let it cool down or you're going to run it under cold water so okay. it's not too hot. It's going to be very hot when it comes out, but basically that will let the skin just pretty much fall off. And now get you don't ready. have to peel it ahead of time. You do it after? No, you can do it afterwards because once you boil it, mm -hmm. the skin will just peel off like that. And then what we have... Yum. You have it already done. Have what do you know? <laughs> sweet potatoes all ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty much, it's a very easy process. 
gonna it's kind of right sweet here. if I'm remembering correctly, right? It's very similar to pumpkin and mm -hmm. pumpkin pie. Um, we're just kind of substituting the sweet potato for the pumpkin. Got it. Um, and what we do is we kind of throw in most of the ingredients um, all together, and then we're going to blend. So we've got half a cup of milk. Okay. A eight tablespoons of butter, which is equivalent to a stick <laughs> of butter. Oh, what are you going to do? Gonna it's go Thanksgiving wrong. time. <laughs> People eat, right? And this will this will be enough for two nine-inch pies. Okay. Ooh, yeah. um, we've got two eggs. A cup of sugar, and the, also just mentioning the butter should be softened at room temperature, so, you can mix it so up, it right? mixes okay. a little bit better. We've got half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so Sorry. all of that. Well, Carly mixes that all up. Nancy, tell me how many people the food bank serves. Well, during the year, we anticipate that we're helping to feed 300,000 people. One family in seven is at risk of hunger, and okay. we hope that at some point during the year, we're reaching all those folks. And it's really not just one part of the state or the other. You're seeing this all across Absolutely. There is need in every single town or community in this state. It's often hidden. It may be people that in this p recent economy who have a home and have the car and clothes, but they don't have an income coming in, and they may be really in need. That's a good point. All right. And uh, what are you doing over there now, Carly? What did we miss? I'm just breaking up the product. We're actually going to use the mixer now. Okay. So if you have a hand mixer at home, you want to make sure it's down there at the bottom before you turn <laughs> it on. <a> tip. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have a mess on our hands. And then you're going to mix this until smooth. That looks great. And yeah. then pretty much we have one that's mixed here. So you're going to mix it until it's smooth. Very nice. And we should mention there are a lot of events coming up this time of year where people can donate and bring items. Um, the first one we have coming up is the uh, Friends of May's Food Drive. That's going to be at the Big Y in North Haven uh, Sunday and Monday, November 11th and 12th. Mm -hmm. That's a great one, actually. I'm going to be out there. Come out and see me right around noontime. Uh, we're teaming up with Radio 104 with that. We also have Star 99.9, the Food for Friends at Stop and Shop in Milford. That's at Silver Sands, Shelton, and Westport. Oh, all on the same day. That's yes. on the 15th of November, and KC 101 is also holding one. It's the annual Stuff a Bus, Hamden Plaza, Dix will have uh, November 16th and 17th. And, of course, you could find all of these on our website. What's the website for the food bank as well? ctfoodbank.org. And you can click on the events calendar and find out a listing of all the drives that are happening in your neighborhood. Now, of course, we can't forget this coming up this Saturday is Fill the Bowl. Right. And yeah. that was sponsored by Bank of America and mm -hmm. TV8. Uh, there, if folks bring a frozen turkey uh -huh. um, a, or a $10 bill or a bag of groceries, they get two free tickets to the game. Oh, what a deal that That's is. Like That's fantastic. Great, uh, we're so excited. That'll be It'll a be fun a day and we'll, a great cause. All right. And uh, Carly, you're just filling up the pie shell here? Yep. Once your mixture is smooth, you can fill up your pie shell like this. And this mm -hmm. is an unbaked frozen pie shell that you can get in your freezer. Very good. And how long does that cook for? And this cooks for um, about 50 to 60 minutes, depending on it. You want a toothpick to come out nice and clean. All right. Well, we're out of time. We're going to taste it at the end of sh the show. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Up next, we'll introduce you to some pets with style. The Bully Breed Rescue talks about pit bulls when Connecticut style returns. Don't go anywhere. A few days after I went to Aspen Dental, I was at work. I was at the grocery store. I was walking down the street. And someone said, you have a beautiful smile. I just stopped. No one had ever said those words to me before. Ever. Right now, get 20% off general dentistry services and select denture styles with payments as low as $25 per month. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL or schedule an appointment at aspendental.com. I think I could live to be a hundred and never explain how good that felt. Huh. It says here that Cheerios helps lower cholesterol as part of a heart-healthy diet. That's true. But you still have to go to the gym. The one and only Cheerios. This is how Mommy learned. 
And now, you. Mm -hmm. Tonight, it's the kind of drama. You have got to get some help. You cannot fire me to do this. They write songs about. What exactly happened between you two? You sleep with him? Nashville, all new tonight, 10, 9 central on ABC. These are the faces of the motorcycle community. People just like you and me. If you've been injured, there's only one name to call. That's 1-800-AIMAN. Let the only legal team who's been a trusted member of Connecticut's motorcycle community work for you. Pitbulls are the most controversial breed in the media and most commonly abused and neglected dog of our time. Some people think of them as vicious and dangerous, while others who know and love them say it's the complete opposite. Bully Breed Rescue is a nonprofit whose goal is to rescue and place pit bulls with responsible owners in forever homes. Joining me now are Heidi Luters, the vice president of Bully Breed Rescue, and Kelly Coughlin, the a volunteer there. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Who would you bring with you today? Today we have Big Daddy as well as Bronx. Um, and Big Daddy's pretty calm. He's yes. Been, he's been here for a couple hours and really seems to be taking it all in. He's definitely a big mush that would prefer to lay on the ground and be loved. <laughs> and we should mention Big Daddy's up for adoption. Daddy is looking for a home. He Aww. is wonderful with everyone he meets, great with dogs. He's about three years old, 80 pounds, but don't let his size scare you. It's all in his heart. <laughs> um, he loves everyone. He is a rescue from the Manhattan Shelter. We rescued him the night before he was supposed to be euthanized oh. due to overpopulation in the shelters. So he's looking for a home with someone that'll chill with him and love him and rub his belly. That's all he wants, huh? Mm-hmm. And what about Bronx over here? Tell us his story. He's about 10 weeks old. He was taken from the Bridgeport Animal Shelter with three of his other siblings. He's amazing with everything, little kids, other dogs. He's great. Oh. Um, so let me ask you, oh, we're going to take a look at all these people. Oh, look at the siblings over there. They're all up for adoption? Oh, yeah. All four of them are. They're 10 weeks old. There's Ava and Gypsy, who are both females, and Chopper and Bronx, who we have here, that are looking for homes. Oh, that's great. So I want to ask you, um, why do they have such a bad rap, pit bulls, do you think? They're the most popular dog of our time. They're okay. the most populated in shelters. Uh, people, it's, you know, it's a, a misconception by their looks. They're big, they're strong. They're a little intimidating, right? They can be intimidating, but once you get to know the real pit bull, they're amazing dogs just want to love people. They are not bred to be human aggressive in any manner. So if you find a pit bull that is human aggressive, it's not common of the breed. But we hear about it a lot in the news. We hear about it. We hear about it because it's, it's very, it's exciting. No one wants to hear about a chihuahua biting. I, I suppose. But what about the stories that you do hear? These are, these are problems that are, uh, are from the trainers or from the owners? It's from the owners. It's definitely an owner problem, um, user error, if you will. Sure. Um, any dog can be trained to be aggressive, a chihuahua, a poodle, a pit bull. Um, pit bulls are not inherently aggressive. Mm -hmm. So if you have an aggressive pit bull, it's mostly the, the handler on the other end of the leash. And how can you fix that? Training it? Train, you can train the it? dog, socializing the dog, making sure you love the dog. Um, any dog is, any, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Any dog can be can bred. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay. Any dog can be bred to be, to be loved and to be a loving dog as well as aggressive, no matter how you, it's a matter of how you treat them. Very good. Kelly, why'd you get involved with the organization? Well, I started, I, I couldn't own a pit bull myself, so I decided to go and volunteer, and I just <laughs> fell in love with it. It was amazing. I drive quite far to get there, but it's so worth it, especially Aww. these little guys. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about Seven, the miracle dog. What's his story, Heidi? Seven was found on the side of the road in Bridgeport okay. with two broken legs. Now, which one is Seven? Are we Seven at? is about 45 pounds, 50 pounds. She's a little blue girl. Okay. Um, she was found inside the road after being malnutrition. She was there for a few days, 25 pounds, two broken back legs. Oh. We picked her up, brought her right to the emergency vet where she was given fluids, taken care of, done x-rays. She had to have surgery on both of her back legs and now she is happy, healthy, She She's fat. certainly recovered here in this Absolutely. picture, right? From such a bad start, she's turned into such an amazing dog that loves everyone. All right, and the next picture we have is Jax, uh, who also needs a home, right? Jax is up for adoption. Jax was found on a chain, as you can see in his picture on the left. He was living outside for two months when his, um, his owners left him, and now he is happy-go-lucky, trained, <laughs> loves everyone, and looking for someone to just give him kisses on his face. Now, Heidi, I want to ask you, how do you know if a pit bull is a right match for a family? Pit bulls are great for any family. I mean, they've been considered, the, they've been called the nanny dog for their tolerance with children. Um, any dog 
that is trained properly and introduced properly can do great in a home. Pit bulls are loving. If you're looking for a dog that wants to hang out with you and be your best friend, a pit bull's for you. All right, and where can we find these dogs so people can adopt? If you visit our website, it's bbrinc.org or bullybreedrescueinc.org. We have a full list of our dogs for adoption as well as events we have coming up and fundraising opportunities. Very good. And you're also looking for foster homes, right? We are right? absolutely looking for fosters, donations, anything we can get. We need it to help these dogs. We are a volunteer and uh, donation-based rescue. All right. Well, Heidi, thanks for setting the record straight. Kelly, thanks for being here. Hopefully, we could find Daddy and Bronx a home. All right. All the information over on WTH.com. Just click on style and stay with us. Up next on Stage 8, the Whitney Players Theater Company performs right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Cable company, and I get to wear a hard hat. A question already. My mom says cable can't bundle cell phones. You mean wireless voice service? Uh, nobody does that. Mom says AT&T does, so. Oh. Call to get our UVerse Triple Play for $89 a month for 24 months. Now get the same great price for two years and get more choices than cable, even add wireless voice. Plus, switch and get a total home DVR included free for life. Oh, I, I bring TV to you. Mr. Roy, with UVerse TV, you can record up to four shows at once on a single DVR and play them back on any TV. Miss Jones has UVerse. Call to get our triple play for $89 a month and get the same great price for two years, plus a total home DVR. And UVerse has more HD channels and cable, too. I want AT&T. Who wants to talk to a fireman? I do. No kidding. Choose the bundle that fits your life. The Whitney Players Theatre Company is made up of talented young performers who get to learn about singing, dancing, and acting by and performing alongside the pros. Joining me now are Cindy Simmel DeVoe. She's the director and choreographer Joan Christensen. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank thanks you. Thanks for bringing everybody. Oh, thanks for having us. So to give us an overview of the Whitney Players Theatre Company, I know it's a nonprofit organization. Uh, we, we started out, it was started by four women, and we were doing one show a year. And we have now done four shows a year, and we're doing acting workshops in the spring and the fall. Uh, this past year, we did Footloose as our winter show with an all-age cast. And our summer show was Hairspray, which was huge. I, it sold out, right? Sold out. Thousands of people came to see it. Great. So kids had a good time. Joan, tell me uh, about some of the successes in the last year. Um, some, I think one of the biggest successes for us is that um, I get kids who really don't know how to dance. <laughs> And all of a sudden, they're just, you know, and loving it. you train it. them, huh? We train them, and through the theater company, you know, and um, it's really wonderful. And they get to watch the older actors and really learn from them. It's really been wonderful. And this program that Cindy put together is really great for these kids. And, Cindy, it's year-round. I know that you have uh, camps in the summertime. Yes. Actually, next Monday, uh, we're having a fundraiser over at Jay Roos, and we're going to be announcing our whole season for next year, which will be two winter shows, um, a camp show, and a huge summer show that we're hoping, hoping, hoping will be a premiere show, which Ooh. means no one in the area has done it yet. There so our fingers well, are crossed on that. Your work cut out for you there. I understand they just won an award also from the Community Foundation in New Haven. Uh, it was wonderful. We got our people together and we won the award, third place award for the most new donors. Oh, great. And so it was a $5,000 award. And for us, that goes a very long way. Uh, we are a nonprofit and it helps us scholarship some kids that would normally not be able to do it. Very good. Now, you guys were originally supposed to be here on Halloween, but we all know Halloween's been postponed and we had a storm, so we're happy to have you here today. What are you guys going to perform? Uh, they're doing funny folks. Uh, we thought with the weather being so scary, we needed to do <laughs> something a little bit more fun, so this is our Halloween treat. All right, take it away. <laughs>
When your Medicare Advantage plan is there for you, you can keep doing the things you love, which is why WellCare Medicare Advantage plans give you extra Medicare benefits at no extra cost. I play because WellCare is in tune with me. In fact, call now to learn how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Our plans have great things like no monthly premium, no or low co-pays to see your doctor, many generic drugs at no cost, and even brand name coverage. Plus, you'll enjoy extra dental, vision, and hearing benefits, and even free gym memberships, rides to your doctor, and over-the-counter medicines every month. That's a lot more benefits with no monthly premium. I sing because WellCare listens to me. Call the number on your screen right now to learn how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Get more from your Medicare Advantage plan. WellCare is here. Let's talk. I'm Keith Trantolo, and this is my dog, Taj. I know that properly controlling Taj when he's around other people is my responsibility. Unfortunately, Many dog owners simply don't train their dogs to safely interact with people. As a result, millions of dog bites occur every year, and they cause serious injuries. If you or a loved one's been injured by an irresponsible dog owner, call me and put the winning tradition of Trantolo and Trantolo on your side and get the compensation you deserve. Okay, so now to our latest on Wrinkle Rehab, the ultimate natural facelift, all thanks to a new type of yoga for your face. It guarantees to give you a glow inside and out without any body bends. ABC's Bianca Goldraga explains. Take a look. The world of yoga keeps stretching to new extremes. There's aerial yoga, hot yoga, even karaoke yoga. But facial yoga? That's right, no more downward dog or warrior poses. It's all about the lion face, the bumblebee, and the Marilyn. And yes, that is me with my best lion face. But I'll save the embarrassment for later. It's the latest craze into getting a youthful glow, yoga for the face. Designed to be a natural, non-invasive alternative to the Botox, fillers, and plastic surgery Americans spend tens of millions of dollars on every year. Suck it, Jesus. Oh, what are you doing? You look like a freaking bitch. Even the Real Housewives of New York traded in the needle and scalpel for, well, the smiling fish face. This do-it-yourself, age-defying technique involving multiple facial expressions is the brainchild of Annalise Hagen, who even wrote a book on mastering what she calls the ultimate natural facelift. So there's a technique to the yoga face. It's not just making a bunch of weird, squirmy faces. Definitely. If you just made weird, squirmy faces randomly, you would get more wrinkles. So we're trying not to do that. We're trying to actually tone and lift the muscles of the face. First place is that people know... Dr. Neil Sadik actually recommends face yoga for his patients saying it promotes collagen production. By stimulating any component of your face, like your muscles, you're going to have a beneficial effect in terms of your overall facial appearance. Inhale through the nose. Jan O'Connell is a yoga and Pilates instructor who's now offering facial yoga at Smart Workout in New York because she says the demand for this natural lift has exploded. They'll leave with a little bit of a rosy glow, maybe a little bit more of a lift in the eyes. And plus you have fun, you make a lot of funny faces. And we have a good time. Wrinkle fighter and a good time? I had to find out for myself. What I quickly discovered was how easy it was for the group to let its guard down. That's when the fun began. There's the fish face, which firms your cheeks and lips. The bumblebee for your cheeks, lips, and jaw. The satchmo targets your cheeks. And my personal favorite? The lion face, supposed to stretch all facial muscles and release tension. A ton of fun, and face yogis keep coming back for more. Why? Okay, I suppose people would try anything to beat the wrinkles. Uh, we're in the kitchen here. We obviously have a packed house. Nancy from uh, the Connecticut Food Bank is here. And also, Carol, tell us about Fillable, which is happening this weekend. Oh, come join us from Bank of America, Connecticut Food Bank, this Saturday at the Yale Bowl between 10 and 12. Bring your turkeys, bring your bags of food, enjoy the fun, and enjoy the game. All right, sounds good. And uh, Kelly, we have Bronx over there who needs a home. 
Heidi, you are the vice president. Tell us the website one more time. BullyBreedRescueInc.org. Okay, and Cindy, the uh, tell us about the performance that's coming up in December, the cabaret. Uh, we have a holiday cabaret on December 21st. You can find out about it on our website, www.thewhitneyplayers.org. Very good. Now, Carla, how'd you finish off the sweet potato pie? I uh, just placed some pecans on there uh, after it came out of the oven. Looks lovely. Well, we're going to dig in. We want to thank everybody for watching. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Everybody wave. Give the camera a good wave. Bye. Bye. <laughs>